In this video, I'm going to be talking about the tracheobronchial tree, and specifically, we're going to be talking about the names of the lobar and segmental bronchi. And it's really important to know the names of the segmental bronchi and be able to trace them out because it will help you localize things like tumors or infections. And plus, if the patient ever gets radiation or they have surgery and the anatomy gets distorted, knowing the segmental anatomy will help you figure out where things are. This is a CT of a normal patient, and I'm just going to take you through the lobar and segmental bronchi. So here we are at the carina here. Just to the right of that is the right main stem bronchus. And if we continue on to the right, that's the right upper lobe bronchus. Okay, it's the first bronchus that comes off of the right main stem bronchus. So I'm going to scroll up, and there's three segments in the right upper lobe, the apical, the anterior, and the posterior. So I'm scrolling up now. You can see this one that's going, that's a circle. It's going to go straight up to the apex. That is the apical segmental bronchus. Okay, I'm going to scroll back down. And this one that goes anterior here is the anterior segmental bronchus. And then I'm just going to scroll back up a little bit. And you can see this one going posterior here. This is the posterior segmental bronchus. Okay, so we have the apical, the posterior, and the anterior segmental bronchi. So after the right upper lobe comes off, the next branch is the bronchus intermedius. So there's the right upper lobe. This is the bronchus intermedius. The bronchus intermedius gives rise to the right middle lobe bronchus and the right lower lobe bronchus. So if I keep scrolling down, that is the right middle lobe bronchus and that is the right lower lobe bronchus. Let's take the right middle lobe bronchus first. The right middle lobe bronchus only has two segments, the medial and the lateral. So you can see here, this one is medial and this one is lateral. Okay, if you scroll back up, right lower lobe bronchus again, right there. And the first branch off of the right lower lobe bronchus is the superior segmental bronchus. And that's this branch right here. The superior segment of the right lower lobe is the only one that doesn't touch the right hemidiaphragm. The others are the basilar segments and those touch the diaphragm. Okay, so after, after the superior segment comes off, we have this bronchus here, and this is called the truncus basalis. The truncus basalis is the branch of the right lower lobe after the superior segment that gives rise to all four of the basilar segments. And the order in which the basilar segments branch can be remembered with the mnemonic MALP, M as in Mary, A, L, P. Okay, so let's follow this truncus basalis down and see what happens. Okay, so first we have this branch here, and that is the M, the medial segmental right lower lobe bronchus. Okay, the next one that comes off is this one, and that's the A, the anterior segmental bronchus. And then we have um, a division of this last branch into two branches, and that is the L and the P. So this one that goes lateral this way, this is the lateral segmental bronchus, and this one is the posterior segmental bronchus, okay? So M, A, L, P. And those are the segmental bronchi on the right side. All right, now let's look at the bronchi on the left side. So I'm going to scroll back up here, up to the carina. Okay, so here we are at the carina, and this is the left main stem bronchus going over to the left, and this is the left upper lobe. So remember that the left upper lobe is really analogous to the right upper lobe and the right middle lobe on the right side, because you have two divisions in the left upper lobe, the superior division and the inferior division. The inferior division is the lingula, and the superior division is made up of two different segments. So let's let's scroll up and we'll look at those. So on the right side, remember that we have three we have three segments, the apical, the anterior and the posterior segments. 
Well, on the left side, two of those segments are combined. So rather than having an apical segment and a posterior segment separate, those two are combined into one segment on the left side. This is called the apical posterior segmental bronchus. Okay, if we scroll up, we can see that it goes up to the apex and it also supplies the posterior segment. If we scroll back down, this right here is the anterior segmental bronchus. And if we scroll further up, then we can see that that supplies the anterior part of the superior division of the left upper lobe. So those two segments, the apico-posterior and the anterior segment, make up the superior division of the left upper lobe. The superior division of the left upper lobe is analogous to the right upper lobe on the right side. Okay. So let's scroll down and we'll talk about the inferior division, which is the lingula. So the inferior division, the lingula, is made up of two segmental bronchi, the superior lingular bronchus and the inferior lingular bronchus. So this right here is the superior lingular bronchus, and it's kind of hard to see on axial sections, but I'm just going to scroll down a couple slices. And so this one right here is the inferior lingular bronchus. Let's take a look at that on coronal images. All right, so here we have coronal images of the same patient, and we're just going to take another look at the superior and inferior lingular bronchus. So this is the left main stem bronchus, and scrolling here is the superior division, and coming forward, this is the inferior division. And the inferior division, we said, has the superior and inferior lingular bronchus. And that is it right there. So that is the superior lingular bronchus, and that is the inferior lingular bronchus. And then finally, we have the left lower lobe bronchus. So the left lower lobe bronchus is right there. And just like on the right side, the first bronchus that comes off of the left lower lobe is the superior segmental left lower lobe bronchus. And this is just like the superior segment on the right side in that it doesn't touch the, the left hemidiaphragm. Okay? It is not one of the basilar segments, it's the superior segment. Okay? Once the superior segment branches off, then you have the truncus basalis on the left side, so if you remember, we have a mnemonic on the right side to tell us what order the basilar branches come off. Well, on the left side, we also have a mnemonic to tell us the order in which the basilar branches come off. And on the left, it's ALP, A-L-P. So A stands for anteromedial, L is lateral, and P is posterior. So on the right side, we had four, M-A-L-P. On the left side, we have three, A-L-P. And the A encompasses both the anterior and medial basilar segment, whereas those are split up on the right side. Okay, so let's follow the bronchus down. Okay, so this is the anteromedial basilar segment. This is the lateral basilar segment. And that is the posterior basilar segment. Okay, A, L, P. And that's it. So... Those are all of the segmental and lobar bronchi in the lungs. Sometimes there can be varying branching patterns, but if you know the segments in each lobe, then you can pretty much figure out what's going on, even if there's a little bit of variance in the anatomy.